Hello and welcome to Planning Preview. We're getting ready to talk about the planning items that are going to the August 3rd Planning Commission meeting. And it's a little bit different this month because it is summertime and with the Planning Commissioners all being volunteers, we didn't have a big agenda. So we kind of said, Jeff, why don't you do this one? So we don't have a Planning Commissioner this month, but again, I'm just going to jump right in. And as always with Planning Commission, please feel free to contact our office at 367 88 if you have any questions on these agenda items. But as I said, we don't have a lot of agenda items for the August 3rd meeting. We have a couple of rezonings that we'd like to talk to you about. The first rezoning item is from RS Single Family Suburban O Office C1 Commercial Pedestrian Oriented to the C2 Commercial Neighborhood for the Loud Forms at 172434 South 10th Avenue and 1719 South Cliff Avenue. So again, as I always say, it's really nice to do the planning free preview and have the video and have the imagery there. This is the northwest corner of 26th and Cliff Avenue. There's an existing gas station there right now and they're going to expand the existing gas station. So it's not really necessarily a brand new thing, but it's the exact issue right now where there's already a gas station there but if you've ever been there it's pretty small and it's hard to get in and out so they're going to take some of the rs residential single family on the west some of the old office on the north they're asking to zone that to commercial and expand the existing gas station so that's our first rezoning it's can they do that or not second item is a rezoning from the rt2 to the c2 at 1122 East 8th Street. And this is a city one that we're doing for this property owner because we didn't do this originally back in 2014. It's at uh, Cliff Avenue again and 8th Street. And it looks like a house, acts like a house, but it's actually a salon studio um, beautician area. And so we didn't see that when we did it back in 2014. So while we called it a residential home, it's really commercial home. That's what they're doing there. there it's been used as a business for a long time. So we're requesting it to be rezoned to commercial. And now the third rezoning is down in the south central part of town, southeast part of town. It's rezoning from ag to live work RD2, RD1, and RA apartments at 57th and Southeastern Drive. This is the northeast corner of 57th and Southeastern. Everybody's pretty familiar with this. This is the existing horse farm farm area at 57th and Southeastern. They're ready to come in right now and rezone it. Um, so again, Kind of at the corners where they're looking at doing the RD residential twin home townhome market. Then a little bit further to the east, that's where they're going to have their apartments. They'd like to do RA2 uh, residential apartments, two, a little bit higher density apartments there. To the south, closer to the twin homes that are already existing there, they're going to do twin homes. And then again, further to the east is where the remaining twin homes are going to be. They also have some live work on their property. And as we've talked about in planning preview in the past, live work is both of those things. Do you want to live here or work here? Live is where you have apartments, work is where you have office. So RA slash O. And so that's the third rezoning request that I wanted to highlight. I think we have maybe one or two more on the agenda and always feel free to contact us if you have questions. Now I wanted to highlight two conditional uses. Um, conditional uses are items that go to Planning Commission. Commission then makes a recommendation basically to approve these things with conditions. Um, the first one is interesting. It's at 235 North Prairie Avenue and it's for a electronic message center at an area that's in a sensitive location. So this is the existing church on Prairie and they want to put up a sign. Well, all the signs that are going up right now are those, let's, everybody understands, but they're the Dactronic signs. So when you put up these Dactronic signs, it's close to single family. And so we're going to have, as required, a conditional use hearing, notify the neighbors, and see what conditions we can put on this. Um, we've done these before at existing churches on the east side of town, the south side of town. Even if you 
are looking at this and watching this, if you drive around town, you'll notice that it will say the name of the church, probably an address, but then there's a reader board on it. And instead of the parishioners or the pastor going out there and having to change it, it scrolls. So that's what an electronic message board is. Now the last one on the agenda is also kind of in the core. It's at 1625 South Main Avenue, and it's an existing single-family home, but they're asking a conditional use to turn into a bed and breakfast. So we have conditions already required, standards already required for them to be able to occupy the bed and breakfast. Um, they have to have some off-site parking so that people don't scatter and park outside into the neighborhood. They can't have a lot of signage. Um, so it limits the impact to the neighborhood, but at the same time, it's not a hotel, it's not a motel, it's a bed and breakfast in a single family neighborhood, but we have a conditional use to allow the public to come and to hear about it. So really that's all we had for this month. That's the August 3rd Planning Commission meeting. Um, we'll post all this information again, not only with CityLink, but we'll have it on the website at SiouxFalls.org. And feel free, if you have questions, to call any of the planning staff at 367-8888. And for this month, that's Planning Preview. Thank you very much.